What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Lowe's coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be going over interview questions and how do you answer them. Now, do keep in mind these interviewers are human beings, all right? They are not the owner of the company most of the time, and they also get nervous about interviewing as well, especially if they are still new at interviewing people. So try to be calm, all right? I know it's going to be nerve wracking because you really need a job. That's why you're there. But really, the more calm you are, the better it looks on you, really. If you're shaking and they can see your nerves, it's actually a very poor look. So let's get into the first question. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Now, they do not want a full story of your life. Yeah, my name is Lewis. I like to read books. I like to walk on the beaches at the sunset. And I have this girlfriend that really likes me. No, they really are interested in your professional history. Like, let's say, for instance, you have had three jobs in your past and the reason why you are looking for a job is because of this reason and I have a lot of experience with whatever you have. Now a very big question that seems to stump a lot of people is what do you think your biggest weakness is? I'm lazy. No, you do not say stuff like that. For instance, like me, I'm kind of considered as a know-it-all to my friends and family, although I don't mean to, but I do come across that way sometimes. So instead of saying, I'm a know-it-all, just say things like, well, I have had this instance in the past where I would mention to a coworker of mine that something really needed to get done, but I'm not their boss. So it did come across as me being a little bossy they had mentioned and I am working on that. I definitely don't mean to be a bossy person or a know-it-all, but I am constantly working on that feature. And with that said, always explain how you are fixing that weakness. Businesses don't want someone with a big weakness and they're just going to be that way. They want you to improve yourself, not only for the business, to keep the workplace in a great environment. Now, another question a lot of people get stumped on is, tell me about an experience where you ran into a problem and how did you solve it? Now, a good explanation of this could be, well, I used to work at a deli, but we ran out of ham one day. And so I volunteered to take my car and go to the supermarket and get some more ham until we could get some more from our manufacturer. Good. Not only does that show your potentially new employer that you are willing to take the initiative to fix the problem, but you did it. You are not someone who is going to go around saying, that's not part of my job. Ew. But what about the question, tell me why are you looking for a job? To make money? No. You want to explain to them what had happened before. Why are you out there in the, the workforce? Now it could be because you were at your job, like let's say Target, and they just wasn't supplying enough hours. Who can expect to live off of 10 hours a week and Target is very famous for doing that? Do not, whatever you do, say things like, well, I didn't like my manager, or the work was too hard, or I was too lazy to work. But where do you see yourself in five years? Now, where interviewers are going with this question is they really want to see one of two things. One, is this position really for you? Because after all, they are trying to fill a position and they don't want to just get anybody. They want to get the right person. And they want to also see, are you management material? Do you see yourself being in their shoes one day? Don't say that. But do you want to build up in the company? Now, how much are you looking to get paid? I really hope you do some investigation before you go to this interview. So that way you can get a good idea for what these positions are paid averagely. And that's what you should go with. Now, let's say you go in as an accountant 
and you have seen that most accountants get started with 55,000 a year. But is that too short for you? Maybe instead you can say to them, I was thinking 58,000, not only is that a pretty fair share of what accountants make starting out, but what I lack in experience and knowledge, I make up for motivation, enthusiasm, great work ethic, and this is not just a job for me. I plan to make this my career. Now they will then start asking you, when the interview is almost done got any questions for me you never want to say no you cover about everything do some investigation about the company when you're looking up those salaries and everything you can ask things like what are the company's plans for growth and where can i see myself a part of that and of course if they haven't gone over the dress code ask about it you can also ask what does a typical day here look during the week are there any weekly meetings? Are there any casual Fridays? After everything is said and done, the interviewer is a person. So feel free to ask them, what is your favorite part of this job? I wanna really thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you did like this video. And always try to see if you can comment something down below. Add a little something. People watching this video are probably gonna be checking down the comments to see if there's any kind of feedback. But most important, share this video so that other people can find this video and have better luck on their interviews. That's why I'm doing this. And you can also comment, what else can I do better with these videos? Is it not entertaining enough? Is it too boring? This is a new channel and I wanna do better. I wanna keep uploading videos. Let me know, what are some things you wish you knew when you were a little teenager or a young adult? What do you wanna know? I definitely wanna make a video going in on how to do your taxes, but I'm going to come out with that when it's about tax time. How do you apply for a mortgage? But I do have some videos about how to do some budgeting. So I hope you did enjoy that video. If you haven't seen it already, please go check it out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.